Good evening. A case of hepatitis A has been confirmed in Erie County. The Department of Health is saying there are options available for those who may have possibly been exposed. Brianna Malone joins us in the studio with more on what's being done. Brianna. That's right, Jen. Cracker Barrel has released a statement saying measures are being taken from both corporate and the Department of Health to ensure everyone is safe. A case of hepatitis A has been confirmed in Erie County by the Department of Health. That confirmed case being in a person who works at Cracker Barrel at 7810 Interstate Drive. Because hepatitis A can be very contagious through food and um, other products, then the protocol is to work um, to notify people who might have eaten there or had takeout or delivery from that location. Hepatitis A is a contagious liver disease with symptoms of fatigue, loss of appetite and nausea, among other symptoms. The symptoms can show up in two to seven weeks after exposure, so staff of the health department are advising people to be aware of any symptoms. Customers who ate or drank at the restaurant during January 30th through February 21st, 2024, including persons who ordered or delivered takeout, should watch for any symptoms of hepatitis A. Customers, both dine-in and takeout, between February 10th through the 21st of 2024, are urged to get their vaccine as soon as possible after potentially being exposed. In a statement from Cracker Barrel Media Relations, the company wants to reiterate that this incident is only isolated to the Erie, Pennsylvania location. They say all guests and staff are safe as no other locations have been impacted. The statement also reads in part, we immediately took proactive steps and are voluntarily closing early this evening to conduct deep cleaning and sanitizing. We will reopen at 7 a.m. Now, if people have um, ate there and have questions. We are staffing a call center at the health department through the weekend uh, with limited hours. We'll be here 4 to 8 tonight and 12 to 6 Saturday and Sunday. Um. Adam says the Erie County Department of Health is working with the State Department of Health to receive additional vaccines and set up a vaccine event as early as next week. Jen. All right, Brianna Malone in our studio tonight. Thank you, Brianna.